Wanda the Druidess is here, everyone, and nature is her frenemy. But I'm not entirely sure why that is, because it seems to me that they go together like peas and carrots. But what have you, I suppose. I do know, however, that Wanda here has actually been around for nearly six years, and I cannot believe that I haven't noticed her sooner, especially with this fancy hair of hers. So let us get down with nature, shall we? But as always, we begin with her stats. And to be honest, they are all over the dang place. She sits at 125 hunger, 130 sanity, and 160 health respectively. Which is all sorts of non-average, if you know what I mean. However, it does all work to kind of already make her unique. So there's that. There's also the fact that her hunger rate is only 80% of the typical drain. So while her stomach is small, yes, it's going to be way easier to keep full at the end of the day. Be mindful though, Wanda will be seeing a significant sanity drain come dusk and night compared to others. And I have to imagine that is due to her flowery hair needing sunlight. But alright Beard, you have already mentioned her hair twice now. What's the deal? Well, make note how Wanda normally looks right here, and this is how she is going to remain for about six days. But after those six days are done, her locks will lengthen, and we will begin to see all sorts of greenery and flowers among it all too. But, given additional six days, and things will really begin to get out of hand in the best way possible. However, Wanda's hair here is not just for style points. She also gains 120 points of summer insulation when it's at full growth to boot, equal to a summer frest, for example. But, we can take things even a step further and choose to shave Wanda's hair come its half length for 6 flower petals and an instant 30 sanity. Or we can even wait until it's fully formed for 12 petals, 1 cactus flower even, and a whopping 60 sanity restored. Very, very nice. But a cactus flower beard? That kinda seems out of place, doesn't it? Well, sort of, I suppose. But what if I told you that Wanda here had a special tool related to cacti itself? For you see, using a Presta Hattitator, we can smash together a regal shovel and a purple gem for the magic trowel. That will allow us to dig up and thus transplant cactus plants, folks. The only issue is that a trowel only has three uses total. So there's that, but cacti wherever you go is gonna be worth it at the end of the day. Oh, and before I forget, no worries with the whole sanity drain nonsense, because speaking of more flowers, Wanda will be able to benefit from a positive sanity aura of plus 12 sanity per minute when near just one flower, so take advantage of that for sure. To continue here, however, Wanda being a nature scientist is also going to lead to her having some immediate access to many plant-based crafts and tools like shovels and pitchforks here. But she can also refine papyrus from the get-go, which couples very well with her immediate access to honey poultice without an alchemy engine at the end of the day. And Wanda can even refine nightmare fuel, honey, and manure straight from spawn if she wishes to as well. Now, the nightmare fuel craft isn't exactly new, but her honey and manure refinements are, and they're both mighty useful. So make notes. In a similar vein, however, she also does not need a science machine to get some other stuff up and running, like improved farms here. Oh, and yes, this does mean that she brings back the old farms, by the way. But buckets of poop are also available immediately. Bush hats can be made available very quickly if you use that sort of thing. And even pumpkin lanterns are accessible early on. So nature science for the win, I'd say. Oh, but she is just getting started, everyone. For you see, Wanda here spawns into the constant with a fleshy bulb, aka a lure plant spawner, a floral shirt, which is great for summer, however it will likely be gone by the time you even get there, and four chunks of leafy meat ready to roll. And roll they shall, because Wanda and lure plants are friends, so harvesting more leafy meat is never gonna be an issue. The eye plants won't attack, nor will they retreat when she takes the lure's meat. Good stuff. 
Just think Wormwood, but way before Wormwood was a thing. However, Wanda can also turn leafy meat into leafy jerky as well. A food that is all but equal to regular jerky, which is phenomenal, minus the 20 hunger instead of a jerky's 25, of course, plus its spoilage rates. Still, it's better than eating the dang green meat raw at the end of the day. Speaking of eating, however, let us just say that Wanda here is probably the pickiest eater ever, both by design and fault at the end of the day. I believe many recent updates have all but thrown off her diet, as while she will not eat meat that isn't green, mind you, she will still eat frogs, chili, eels, froggo bunwiches, and even pierogi. But outer still is that while she will still eat eel, she will not eat any other fish meat in the game. However, fish sticks are okay. Hmm, not sure how that works, but oh well. Fruits, veggies, eggs, milk, honey, and seeds are all welcome, no questions asked. So there you go. Oh, and she can also eat raw birch nuts too, very much unlike any of the other survivors in this game, but she will lose five sanity each much, so be mindful there. Also be mindful of the fact that Wanda here is six years old, so some of her is still a bit dumb broken currently, like her lure plant scroll here. In short, the book once made it so Wanda could summon a lure plant at will wherever she pleased, which would be quite something nowadays. But sadly, we'll just have to be sticking around to wait for the natural ones to start popping up for any Wanda playing this day and age. However, let us start wrapping up here with the usuals, folks. Her ghost and her voice. But as for her ghost here, I don't think it's anything too special. So let's move on because her voice should sound very familiar to anyone who watched our last character video, as yes, she actually uses Wallace's long lost vocals. And no, I absolutely did not plan any of that. And there you have it everyone. Wanda the Druidess by Zach Reaver, Vivka, and Rusty here. For all it sounds, Wanda actually appears to still be a work in progress, even after all this time. And it looks like one of the modders still seeks some help to kind of refresh her a bit. So go offer some feedback and assistance if you can or wish to, as nature calls. But thanks for watching, folks. Well wishes to one. Try to be one with the terrifying eyeball things. And I'll see ya in the next one. Bye-bye.